Hey guys, Aaron Farmer here with MySugarFreeJourney.com and I'm about to share with you 10 tips to help you stay in a ketogenic state while you're eating out. Eating keto is pretty easy when you're the one cooking all your food, but as soon as you go to a restaurant, things can get a bit tricky. So I think that you're going to find this video very informative. Number one, don't let them put that bread or chip basket on the table. There's no reason to have that, that temptation sitting there in front of you. Uh, just tell the waiter to not bring it and not set it on the table. Or if you're eating with other people, just kind of push it away from you. Uh, I, you know, I still cheat. When, I, when there's bread, especially if it's bread with uh, like the olive oil and the spices that you can dip it in, I, you know, I really like that. So it's much easier on my personal, um, for my personal willpower just to not allow that to be on the table at all. Number two, eat your eggs whole. This was actually a little surprising to me. I didn't realize this until just a not, not too long ago. But a lot of breakfast restaurants will put pancake batter in their scrambled eggs or in their omelets to kind of make the, the scrambled eggs or the omelets a little fluffier. Um, and this is a fairly common practice, especially in big chains like IHOP or, or uh, Waffle House. Um, don't allow them to do that and you can either request that they don't do it or just order fried eggs you know order eggs that have been that are whole and not scrambled so you can see that exactly that they're you know that they're not putting that stuff in your eggs number three always order your vegetables on the side you, these restaurants would rather you eat uh, you know the carby sides the potatoes and the rice because they're cheap but uh, don't allow them to put those carbs on your plate ask for the steamed vegetables or some kind of a uh, non-carby side dish to go with your meal. Number four, check the online menu. It's very helpful to know exactly what a restaurant serves before you go in there so you can start making decisions before you even walk in the door. It makes the decision making process once you're sitting at the table a lot shorter. Number five, call ahead if there's anything that you're unsure about. There are some restaurants that I I just don't know what's in the dish and so in order to keep make sure there's no sugars or grains or anything else kind of hidden in their food, I'll just make a quick phone call before we go to the restaurant. Ask uh, the try to try to get to the to the chefs, <laughs> and um, ask what's going to be in a certain dish. That way, I'll be able to make a more informed decision once I'm there at the restaurant. Number six, stay with the big pieces of meat on the menu. I tend to stay away from dishes that have a lot of sauce or a lot of you know extra things on them that I don't really know. A lot of toppings, things I don't really know what's in there. And I just, I try to stick with big pieces of chicken, big pieces of fish, big pieces of, of steak, uh, and of course vegetables on the side, and it just makes, you know, knowing what I'm eating a lot easier. Number seven, remind yourself that one meal isn't worth undoing all of your progress. This is really difficult for me sometimes when I'm sitting in front of food and I want to eat it. Um, you know, it's not, it's just not worth it. It was a very difficult, you know, thing for me to learn because it's, it's not worth it. One meal is not worth me gaining three pounds and not being able to lose any weight over the next week. Uh, it's just not. So remind yourself that one meal isn't worth undoing the progress that you've made. Number eight, order olive oil and vinegar for your salads if, if you can at all. Uh, a lot of times dressings have hidden sugars or they have a lot of uh, uh, polyunsaturated uh, fats in the oils that you don't, you know, it's just not good for you. So stick with the basics. If you can get your hands on just a basic olive oil and vinegar, not a vinaigrette because, you know, that usually has sugar in it, but uh, just, just stick with the basics for your salad and you'll be, uh, you'll be okay. Number nine, order extra meat, extra bacon, extra cheese. Um, sometimes you kind of get in your head that because you're not eating bread, you're afraid you're not going to fill up. Well, Actually, one of the benefits of a ketogenic diet is you don't get hungry very often. But if you're still at the stage where you're a little concerned about, you know, not having enough food to make it to your next meal, uh, just, you know, order a little extra meat or, or order, you know, a side of bacon, something, uh, just to put a little extra protein, a little extra fat on your plate. Number 10, don't be afraid to order individual ingredients. If there might not be anything on a, on a menu that you, you can order straight off the menu to be able to stay in ketosis, doesn't have any sugars or any grains or anything like that. Uh, but if you can start ordering individual like this meat and these vegetables and kind of create your own dish, a lot of times those restaurants will accommodate you and it's not any big deal. For, for instance, uh, my son wanted to eat a Taco Bell uh, a couple uh, weeks ago. 
Well, you know, I ordered their, I just got their beef and uh, some of the stuff for the taco salad, told them to hold the shell, just put everything in a bowl. And I was able to make a really good uh, ketogenic taco salad at Taco Bell, even though what I, you know, even though I wasn't able to actually just order it straight off the menu, I had to modify it. And a lot of times, you know, places, like I say, will accommodate you uh, in your special dietary restrictions just, you know, just because you're their customer. So that's it. Those are your top 10 uh, tips for eating, staying in ketosis when you're eating out. I hope you found it helpful. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please come on over to the blog, subscribe to the uh, daily email. We'll send you a 28-day meal plan. Uh, and please subscribe to this YouTube channel and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. You have a good one. Bye-bye.